which we will be seeing one is called as a probability generating function one is called as moment generating function and one is called as a cumulative and gen cumulant generating function what are these three is using these functions probably you can find out the probabilities of different distributions very easily you can find the moments like mean variance standard deviation skewness these kind of things very easily associated with any of the distributions it's like a, it's like a formula which is a kind of iterative kind of stuff which will help us in deciding or in finding out the mean the variance associated with the data so what actually comes out is it helps us in finding out the probability distributions and uh, if we see some of the continuous uh, things which we have uh, used uh, in our earlier chapters we have used integration very heavily right so the moment you are able but uh, the, the moment you are able to generate uh, 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 generating a function for this after that you don't need to actually do any kind of integrations to find out the mean variance etc and the most biggest advantage comes with this generating functions especially if i have the distribution of linear combination of independent variables like okay i talk about not just x but i have two variables x and y right x is following a, a, a poisson distribution y is uh, following a, a, let's say a, a log normal distribution now or x is following one poisson distribution with one lambda y is following another poisson distribution with uh, lambda 2 the the joint the linear combination of the distribution if i want to combine these two then to see those kind what would be the probability distribution if i combine these two things one is following a, a poisson with uh, average lambda the other is following a poisson with average lambda 2 now what would be the kind of a linear combination of these two distributions if i add this distribution to this distribution what would be the resultant distribution if i subtract what would be the resultant distribution so in these kind of cases i really don't need to use the concepts of integrations and uh, summations and all once i have the simple generating functions in place i should be able to find out the mean variance etc for them and uh, the more another uh, bigger usage is compound distributions which is more like one is having uh, poisson the other is having log normal not the same distribution one is having poisson the other is having log normal a simple example is let's say i want to predict the claim amount total claim amount i would like to break it into two parts what would be the number of claims that may come in the next year and what would be the average claim amount per claim then i will multiply these two to find out what would be the total claim amount which i can predict now if i see these two things the total number of claims it's a discrete distribution so probably i'll uh, model it using let's say a poisson or something claim amount average claim amount it is a continuous distribution so let's say i want to model it using uh, a log normal distribution now a combination of these two is what we are saying as a total claim amount so if i have to predict the total claim amount i am taking the distribution of two different distribution the combination of two distri different distribution and that is what we are calling as a compound distribution and what we would be uh, seeing is uh, this part is dealt very much heavily in the next chapter and this part is dealt in the chapter after that so the the the, the current chapter is primarily focusing on how do we generate these three kind of uh, distribution uh, functions or generation functions the probability generation function the moment generating function and the cumulant generating function and as far as our exam is concerned also he may ask us
to find out the moment generating function for something and the good thing is in the tables in the actuarial tables we see the moment generating function for all the common distribution so we don't need to mug up the formula the mgf formula will be there for all the common distributions that are there like your normal your gamma your uh, log normal all the common distributions your bina binomial all the common distributions that are there your poisson all for all those things you will see a moment generating function and one or even a probability generating function because the, the cumulant generating function is not required we will see how we can derive the cumulant generating function from the moment generating function so in most of the formulas in the as a part of each distribution he will give you the probability generating function as well as the moment generating function also there but if it is a non traditional kind of a distribution he may ask us to find out the moment generating function in the exam find out what is the moment generating function for this find out what is the probability generation function for this now what are these things a probability generating function is nothing but it generates a set of possibilities or a probabilities for a particular variable and more appropriate only for discrete distribution so probability generating function if we simply see okay simple example i'll take it makes things easier for you we talk about dice right 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 by 6 1 by 6 this is the probabilities so how do i make a probability generating function with this the probability generating function here is nothing but you take each of the probabilities 1 by 6 each of the probabilities and multiply it with t t you take it as a constant some uh, or some dummy variable t to the power this value t power 1 so what you are doing is 1 by 6 t power 1 plus 1 by 6 t power 2 so on plus 1 by 6 t power 6 this is your moment generating function this is your probability generating function for this particular distribution all we are doing there is if you see here p not p1 p2 if i am saying they are all probabilities associated with uh, values getting a 0 getting a 1 getting a 2 and so on then you are uh, generating function your probability generating function is nothing but p not into t power 0 getting a 0 p1 into t power 1 p2 into t square p cube into t p3 into t cube and so on so all the probabilities multiplied by t to the power of something in short it is nothing but it is the expectation or expected value of t power x instead of your instead of looking what is the expectation of t power x that is where go back to our third chapter the expected value of anything else that value we multiply it with the probability right expected value of t power x so t power 1 i multiply with the probability of 1 t square i multiply with the probability of 2 t cube multiply with the probability of 3 now from here if you look at some of the important results g of 1 means you put t equal to 1 in this equation if i put t equal to 1 what is it becoming p0 plus p1 plus p2 plus p3 so on which is nothing but sum of all probabilities sum of all probabilities is coming out to 
So the result is g, g of 1 equal to 1. Now, what is g of 0? You put t equal to 0 in the whole space. It is equal to p naught. If I put t equal to 0 in that entire thing, so it is just p naught. p naught is nothing but the probability of x taking a value equal to 0. So, some kind of derivations can be coming out, out of it. So, which means for us, the generating function in short, is nothing but the expected value of t par x. So, the typical thing that comes out is, he will ask us, okay, for a binomial distribution, find the, find the probability generating function, which is nothing but whatever is the probability function of binomial distribution that is there, you multiply it by t par x and try to find out the distribution for it. So, we will take a couple of them for that. So, some of the things that we need to understand here is, two variables have the same probability generating function, only if they have the same probability distribution. If the, if the whole probability distribution is the same for two variables, then only PGF also will be the same, because you are doing nothing but, you are multiplying.